on. So much things to like, so much Yo, what's going on boys? Welcome back to another video. So, with the recent popularity of my last video, I figured I'll do it again, except this time for 12 hours. However, before we do get started into the video, only 25% of you that watch my videos are subscribed. So, if you could do me a massive favour and go down below and smash that sub button. And if you want to go the extra mile, a like would be greatly appreciated. But, with that being said, boys, let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. With my build stalker and my kit now acquired, I'm now on a bit of an adventure to sort of get an understanding of my surroundings. With one of many close calls checked off my bucket list, I decided to scout the base. However, the guy did appear to end up being online, and as I was leaving, two more bell stalkers came back, so I knew that I wouldn't be able to stand a chance against these guys. These guys would definitely have more firepower than me, and with only a pickaxe and some shocking drank darts, there wasn't much I could really do. After about 15 minutes of scouting around the map, I ended up finding myself down in the ice palace. Ended up finding a cliff plat that had a few turrets that had been offline with a bloodstalker sat on top by itself. Well, it was a fat F, unfortunately. There was nothing in it. Fat F indeed. However, I didn't let it get to me, and I carried on about my business. At the end of the day, it would only have been free loot. However, I didn't lose anything other than time. After flying through the Ice Palace for a bit, I came across a little bit of a rat hole. This is a very common rat hole, a lot of people know it, and it didn't seem to be that well defended. However, I couldn't do anything right now as they had two heavies inside. But make sure you keep watching out for the video as we do pay this a visit later on. While flying about, I ended up spotting a yellow drop in the distance over on Lava Island right by Pole Cave. I flew over there on my Bloodstalker and inside I got myself a flat chest BP. This was definitely important and it would definitely benefit us later down the line. Data. Four hundred euro as well. Black BP in my upload. I carried on with my journey. Oh my! Really? There were turrets on the island. Perhaps someone was doing a boss fight. Who knows? Now, some people would have just left and carried on about their business. However, I had a gut feeling that if I could just somehow get to the drop. It would be well worth it, and well, you'll just have to wait and see. With a bed down, I picked out my worst set of flak and gave it a good attempt. And let me put these away. Just in case. Fingers crossed. I didn't even check to see if the uh, drop was even low. Mm. 
died. However, obviously because I placed the bed, it wasn't a big deal. Now, I knew from the last recording that I was a little bit biased to the left and not only that, I was going pretty slow. So I figured, well, maybe if I come in at a better angle, I might be able to make it. This doesn't work then. We'll carry on. It worked. Oh my days. So worth. So worth. That was worth it on so many levels. Ouch. Oh, crap. Okay, so we got ourselves a Stego Beefy. Not amazing, you know, 40 armor and that lot, but if we can get a Stego in there, we've also got a 70 armor Stego saddle. That's going to benefit us so, so much. Stego saddle. Now, that would be the key ingredient to making this wipe the most successful wipe I've ever had. However, you're going to have to keep watching into the video to find out when we put it to use. With all my important belongings safely in upload, I made my way over to Crystal Isles to grab an Arthroplora. There we go. Got 29. With my Crystal Wife untamed, I made my way over to the desert to go and find an Arthro. Money. Oh, 140. You're coming with me, fam. That's my house, I was about to say, where did it go? There we go. What did it come out with? Range from Halo. Would really appreciate it if you all pissed off. Please go away. I hate dolphins sometimes. Thank you. Bye. Alright. Arthur oh, said, oh, we need obsidian and paste. Oh. After farming the resources for an Arthur saddle, I made my way over into the snow to grab one of the deep sea loot crates. Drops here. No, almost nobody grabs this drop. I don't know why, because, um, yeah, that is a pog. We just got a journeyman mining drill as well. Oh, bro. What compound where was that? 291, but that was, I'm pretty sure, expensive. However, that's nice. That's huge. Nice. Oh, 600 euro. Uh, don't need you. Keep you, but we don't need you. Some pretty decent loot. At least, for me, it was. See, I still didn't even have a base at this point, so there was no way I could really put this other than in upload. Now, me being me, I like to get a little bit greedy sometimes, and went for a yellow drop. And, well, this was not a good idea. Another comp, PP. No! In combination of full damage, as well as two blasts from this dude on the wyvern, 
I shortly found myself back in the loading screen. Now, this was pretty upsetting as, you know, I did lose everything including my Bloodstalker as well as the Arthroplural, which was the main thing that I came here for. Now, the BPs didn't really bother me as the compound bow did cost the best part of 3k per resource in order to craft it, so I wasn't overly mad about that. At the end of the day, I did still have my flat BP in upload, so not all was lost. I then spent all of hour 2 getting back what I lost as well as scouting the rest of the map to see if I could find any more bases. I managed to find myself somebody who had left their forges as well as a fabric gear unattended on the side of the mountain. Yeah, gunpowder. Ooh, nice, a load of metal. Ooh, one C4. Fog. Fortunately, no detonator, but we've got one C4. Almost 7k cooked metal, and almost enough pace to make myself a cliff platform. This was a pretty good haul. However, I wasn't over there when I stumbled into a guy's base who had a massive blind spot. We would definitely be paying him a visit later on. He has the biggest blind spot I've ever seen. Is he offline? He looks either offline or dead. Dead or alive, it wouldn't matter. We still didn't have anything or anywhere near the amount of stuff that we'd need to raid this base. Now, I would for sure need myself a stego as well as some rockets, so I got straight to work. I found myself a little bit of a rat hole off the edge of the map, down near the world border. I slapped down a cliff platform that I had made from the resources that we got from that guy's fabricator and got straight out taming some stegos. Thought of hour 4, I actually managed to finally find a level 150 stego. And luckily for me, it happened to be a male, which made this process a whole lot easier. Come on, you should have been out by now, surely. There we go. Oh. He came out with 5.2k. Not amazing, but you know, I'll take it. The male, I'm not gonna complain. Dip, thank you. I then spent hour 5 and 6 getting drops, farming some resources, as well as taming some turtles. Once everything was done, I went back to base, bred up my stego so that I would have an imprinted stego, and, well, it hatched. Question is, did we get the HP? 6-4, and it has the HP, let's go boys. Start of hour 7, we were now prepared enough to go and attempt this raid. No. Sometimes it burns. Sometimes it hurts. Will you say my name? Okay, that's actually quite helpful. 
not helpful though. Closer than what this thing did. Annoying. Oh no. Please don't. Let's go, boys. Oh my. That was too close for comfort. Okay, a bit of flint. Loads of metal. Three gas. Get his kit. Okay, here's a Fabi on him. track. He named it Soak but it's 3.5k HP. Okay. Yes, thank you. I need you. Take you and a lot of gas. Nice. 29c4. Oh my. Uh, more good flak. Nice, that's huge. Okay, 900 paste. With the gains that I got from this raid, I took everything I had, I went straight back to base. I then spent hour 8 preparing to do the next raid so that by hour 9 we were ready and I set off on my journey in hopes that it would be successful. You can do it. 
Oh, they look like just auto turrets, man. Nah, there's a few heavies, and then they've got that power there. I'm just concerned that that power's gonna hit me, but I only have one chance. Yeah, that's literally one of them. Whoa. Uh, cause server lagged. I know how this ends. Might sound strange, but I give my life for you. I can't use a rocket because I've only got one. I just ran away from the truth. That C4 place, sir? It didn't then. Okay. It got knifed out of it. Yikes, bro. <laughs> I'll wait for wreckage just in case. Uh, there's the base. It's shockingly bad, but... If you can get in there and shoot a rocket off, it'll Oh my, it's not shooting me. went down then. Let's back up, Jen. I can't. No, wait. Are they out of ammo? No. They are down. What it? <laughs> oh, my. Okay. I need to get beds ate up. Bro, why was that so easy? This was easier than this few heavy turtle base that I raided. Please tell me I've got something better than this. No. Maybe I just see for it. Uh, we'll soon see. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, my hand's kinda shaking. Disable Ali looking, get out of my face. Damn. Okay, that's actually kinda worth. Just for that alone. Can bench empty, empty. There's them prize. I'll be in the vaults for sure. How much C4 do I have? 26. Damn, it didn't even blow the Indie Forge. I really don't need the gas bag, but you know how much I'll just take it just so that he can't. Probably gonna have loads in there. Resources, PvP, and saddles. Yes. Give me Thames. Oh, really? trike. Uh, AKHP. Decent. Uh, decent gig on. <laughs> Other than that, it's all dog shit. The golem? Uh, 40. Where's that? I'm blind. Oh, yeah.
No, don't think I'm gonna have enough for this, but. Ooh, Ooh any Ford. <laughs> I needed one of them. Oh, 14 C4, Pog. 15 C4, made that back. Uh, baby Paracers. Oh, nice, loads of Paracers. They look low level there. Uh, oh, yeah. Just in case he is stacked on medbrews. Not that it's bad. No. My guy was making colouring. And just like that, we had successfully done the raid. We got a lot of loot out of it and a few cryodinos. Some of the paraces were low level, however, I believe the male was actually a high-ish level. But well, boys, that is gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. This was a nice long, I think it was about 30 minute long video. So uh yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. It did take quite a while to edit, so if you could leave a like and subscribe, it would really mean a lot and it would show me your support. Also, massive thank you for 10k. There is a picture in my Discord for those of you that wanted a face reveal. So uh yeah, with that being said, boys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.